Hey, how's it guys? In this BigQuery API tutorial, we'll learn how to add and delete columns to an existing table using Python. All right, so here under my staging data set, I have this table called BigQuery copy. And I want to add uh, two columns uh, to my uh, BigQuery copy table using uh, BigQuery API and using Python. All right, so I'm going to uh, dive right into the Python script. All right, so here in my script, uh, I'm going to import the time module. And from google.cloud module, I'm going to import the uh, BigQuery module. And let me go ahead and uh, import the libraries first. Now here, let me increase the font size. All right, so the first thing we need to do here is we need to construct our uh, BigQuery API client instance to connect to the uh, BigQuery API endpoint. Next, we need to uh, construct our uh, table reference to connect to, uh, in this case, will be my BigQuery copy table. And to do that, so I'm going to, uh, first of all, create my data set reference. So when you create a data set reference, so table reference, you're not yet connecting to the table entity. Well, just basically creating a, an address to referencing where the table is going to be located. All right, so here I'm creating my uh, data set reference using the BigQuery dot data set reference uh, class. And inside the data set reference class, I'm providing the uh, project ID and the data set ID. In this case, we'll be staging. And once we create the uh, data set reference, we can append the uh, table ID to the data set reference. So that's going to be the purpose of these two lines. All right, so let me go ahead and uh, run this code block to create my client instance and my uh, table reference. Now to uh, connect to the table to construct the uh, table entity. From the client object, we need to use the uh, get table method providing the uh, table location. Now I can uh, create my BigQuery table object that ties to my uh, BigQuery table. Right, so this is going to be a construct table entity reference. Now here I'm going to uh, create a snapshot of the table schema. And we can do that by referencing the uh, BigQuery table object dot schema. So at this point, uh, this table is uh, literally linked to uh, this uh, BigQuery copy table. So we can reference in basically uh, all the metadata that ties to that table. And the schema attribute is going to return a list that provides us with the uh, counts metadata. And I'll name the output original schema. Now to add the uh, counts, I want to make a copy of the uh, schema. Now I want to go into the uh, documentation real quick. All right, so if you go to the documentation on the reference, you want to uh, navigate to uh, data types. So on this page, you know, you're going to be able to uh, see all the supported data types uh, that BigQuery uses. And I'll add two columns, uh, just as demonstration. And you can probably follow along to figure out how to add the uh, data types for other counts. All right, so here I'm going to uh, append two counts. And to create a column, we need to use the BigQuery dot schema field. Uh, I think this is a class. Yeah, this is class. So we need to use this class uh, to define the uh, columns uh, metadata. So the first parameter is going to be the column name, and the second parameter is going to be the data type, and the third parameter, which is going to be the mode, indicates that whether or not if this is a required field. And I'm going to set both columns to a set null value. All right, so I'm going to name the first column save two, and the second column is going to be a uh, permanent link two. And we need to add these two uh, fields to the new schema object. Now we need to assign the uh, updated schema to the BigQuery table entity. So here I'm reassigning the uh, schema's attribute value with the new schema object. Now to add these two columns to my uh, BigQuery copy table. So here I'm going to make an API call by referencing the client object dot update table. 
I'm going to provide the uh, BigQuery table object. And for the uh, field type, we're going to update the uh, schema field type. And this will be um, make an API request to delete, it should not delete, to add accounts. All right, so if I go ahead and uh, run this code block from uh, line 12 to line 24. Now, if I go back to my BigQuery console and refresh the page, I should now see uh, those two fields got created in my BigQuery copy table. Now let's delete those two columns uh, since I don't need them. All right, so this will be uh, delete columns. Right, so with BigQuery API, uh, there's no methods that we can use to directly delete columns of a BigQuery table. So what we need to do here is we need to uh, run a SQL query or SQL statement to drop the columns. Right, so uh, using a SQL statement to delete a count or counts, we'll be using the outer table statement or command followed by the uh, table name. So here we need to uh, specify the data sets ID followed by the table ID. Then we're going to uh, use the drop count statement. And here I'm adding the uh, if exists uh, commands to check if a count already exists. And if a count exists, then I want to uh, delete the column. All right, so this is going to be my uh, SQL query to delete those two counts. And I'll name the output as query job. And once we run the query, the query is going to get assigned to a queue. So here we're going to uh, wait till the query is executed by checking the query job that states attribute. All right, so if I uh, simply run the query method, now if I print uh, query job that states, and here you can see that the uh, current state is running. That means that the uh, query is still executing or still waiting to be executed. So I'm going to insert a while loop. I'm going to say while the uh, query job state is not equals to done, meaning that uh, it's not yet complete. They want to uh, recheck the status after uh, three seconds. And once the uh, job is complete, they want to print the uh, job result to make sure that the job executed successfully. All right, so if I uh, see, so I already ran the uh, query method. Now, if I go ahead and run this while loop. All right, so it looks like the job is finished. So if I go back to my table and refresh the table, and if I scroll down, I should see those two columns got deleted in my uh, BigQuery table. All right, so this is going to be everything I'm going to cover in this video, and hopefully you guys found this video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.